Today I opened up YouTube and I saw this video. Only the thumbnail, I haven't watched it so far and I thought, okay, let's make a reaction video on exactly the new topic here, which is called Warzone's new map. So obviously Black Ops 6 somehow accidentally, you know, leaked the new map. And let's have a look together. And Iceman Isaac, if you don't know him, his channel is, uh, there's a link in the description down below. Make sure that you follow him. He has great tactics. He's exactly explaining, you know, how you need to play, what you need to consider. Really like one of the best creators when it comes uh, to Warzone itself. Um, let's have a look together. And I'm really curious what the new map, you know, is going to bring to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the map Lowtown inside of Black Ops 6. But what you may not realize okay, is that it's inside of the new Warzone map. And no way. A little adventure through because... There are so many things. No fucking this way. This being the new Warzone map expected to be called Avalon coming later in the Black Ops 6 series. Now, we all know 100% confirmed wow. that Dance is coming back next year. We're expecting it likely to be at the five-year anniversary. Wow. So sometime in the spring of next year. Hey, guys, if this is going to be the new map. I didn't realize. Look this at this. was shown to me by a member of my community who watched Geeky Pastimes. Take a look. Fuck. Go through. Rowan Cod we have a stadium. Uh, podcaster. We have ruins. The entire map. So we're going to go through this together. We're going to look through some of we the have main wood. POIs. Oh. Comment down below if you have any timestamps. There are all these old maps. Like forest. Guys, literally forest. Avalon Warzone map. So I'd love oh, to, uh, I'd love let to see me, let you Let me move myself here a little bit here down below uh, so you can guys see we? also Iceman here speaking. Some of these buildings are going to be very low poly, low texture because they are just being rendered off in the distance mm -hmm, but a mm -hmm. lot of these buildings are actually developed out really well so we'll get some good looks at some of man them. i love the arena the very first one it's like a giant coliseum that looks like there might wow. be a, a, like an edm it's not a coliseum it's inside. arena we've got like some vineyards and some ruins this was one of the buildings that was actually it's a little bit like well, italy if you want to call it this way how they're building out the forest you know low town a lot more of like a PUBG vibe for me typically when they do trees inside of warzone it's something like that, where it's just like a tree, a tree, like random trees where you can't really branch yeah. and together. But I really like how all of these trees, you can maybe play behind two or three trees. It's actually like a forest, finally. So you have like forest fights, the possibility to have forest here, fights in the Battle Royale. The assets, very similar to what we've seen in other games. Little gas station vibe. Yeah. The colors, everything. Gas, sta gas stations are everywhere. Me, it gives you the perfect combo of like Blackout ah. and Caldera. And Verdance, oh, yeah. and I'm just I'm and Fortune Scape. It has a lot I mean, of Fortune really Scape vibe. Black Ops Six multiplayer. This is the most I've enjoyed multiplayer in a long time. Oh yeah, we and have so a mine. Imagine moving through this <laughs> Omni movement. It's gonna be such a blast, bro. And if it's somehow connected, you know, to the other areas via tunnels. Wow, urban, can you imagine that? Uh, not not urban, but uh, like ruins. Everything's kind of broken yeah. down. But it's like really like through, Italy, you know. Downtown areas. We've got museums, we've got tennis courts, we have a golf course, we have an F1 racetrack. Oh boy. This is going to be a sick map. And honestly, it looks so big, it should probably be a 150 player map. Not the. Uh, if this is a 150 the player map. map. Wow. So you'll see here just kind of how these buildings are all designed. Yeah. They have a lot of the, the similar Portions design keep wide. language that we've seen in other maps. Right. Eh where it's got all these different traversal points where you can be jumping up, mantling exactly. up, working your way upstairs. You have stairs Tiger and windows. House up there, that's going to be uh, a lot of fun to break. Bro. Only thing I'm not liking about this map is I'm yeah, it's, a, it's lot, the water. a lot of water. Uh, so hopefully... <laughs> I like how he's thinking. It's a little Obviously, bit too much we're gonna water. Yeah. We're going to have the zip lines. Maybe they add some, you know, more jet skis and boats. But hopefully they find it's maybe a little, it bit a little bit more too much disconnected from each other. So over you know, area we get I would like really to see a little bit more roads, but hey, later in the map, this kind of reminds me of the blackout power plant area. I think it was like oh, over yeah. on like the north. Well, side Masra, of the map, if you want to call it this. More little power plant, oil yeah. refinery type of things. It's like, like Al Masra here, what we had this in the is refinery. Kinda, I imagine going to be the slower playing side of the map, where if you want it to be a yeah. little bit more chill, you want to pick up a It's like Uzbekistan in the farm outside. As we move through here, this map is massive. Yeah, it's We're really be massive. We're through it pretty quick. But once again, timestamp down below if you recognize wow. any of these POIs as maps inside of old Black Ops maps. I'm pretty sure that's a Black Ops map, but I can't remember exactly what it is. And what I really like is that it's super hilly, so you have always like you know high positions, low positions, etc. But I'm just curious, you know, how you, how, how you can it is walk a lot around. Of water. We'll have to see. Yeah, and the water. Yeah. That part out well. Or at least maybe allow us to shoot our guns like regular SMGs and ARs inside. For example, here you need to have pistols, like at least helicopters being available, a couple of zips, you know. Across, 
but you yeah, can the redeploy. Bridge. Just remind me of, of, of when you used to wingsuit off of bridges inside of Blackout. Flying up here, there isn't a bunch of verticality, right? If we were to look at something like Caldera, there was one central high ground. Mm. And it honestly looks like this might be the highest point on the entire map. Unless it maybe is, uh... we'll go adventure off into those mountains, but I'm pretty sure that's out. Or maybe of one map. of the buildings inside there. This could be the highest point in the entire map. That's not bad, considering how we've had like Caldera Peak, Al Mazra downtown, yeah. um, Al Mazra Peak as well. So hopefully, or Sikistan uh, uh, City, love, or whatever it's I called. I honestly love they have the high buildings. all of these wooded areas because with how dense these trees are, I you can actually I really move worry around about things like Verdansk trying to cross through open fields. Mm. But if you have some dense, dense tree lines to work through, I think it's going to play really well. So back to it, it looks like we, for the first time, have a hospital that's kind of based around a port. As you can see, there's a lot of helipads through here. So there's a be multiple helicopter spawns. Ah, it's helicopter. A nice little sniper tower. It, it could here. actually be a military a facility, forward, if you ask me. Kind of more of like this would be great if you have a military school, facility where you have like special guns available or whatever. Yeah, you know, like, like something like a wall or a treasure. Kind of collapsed and barely together. And then now we'll start it's to move towards man. a lot more of the modern part of this map. So obviously we've got the the village that we worked through earlier. It's village. It's like these ruins vibe. Rural side of Italy, if you want to call it this way. More modern. We have once again some of these repeated assets. Now we have a liquor uh, store. We have the same gas station that we gas saw stations, earlier. Gas stations, liquor stores. It's Who usually knows? like, you know, about After all cash. the SBMM and cheaters that we're inevitably going to run into, I might need to make a stop inside of there. Now, this area right here oh, kind of like reminds that. me of the construction area from the OG Blackout map. Uh, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to fight in through there, work our way down. Looks like oh. we'll have some cool areas in there. Oh, my God. Yeah, but we it's... a little lazy river. Like, this map looks... It, it's got a lot of It's personality. a lot of open space. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be adventuring through the golf I think course. sniping is going to be a real huge meta at the end of the day all. here. So, it's... it's I cannot... Again, wait, a little bit of rural area. So this is a little bit more of the countryside, kind yeah. of the last remnants of it as, as we move through the rest of the map. If you guys recognize any of these parts of the map, uh -huh. let me know. This is going to be great for close quarter fighting. Is this Hacienda? Okay. I think that's the name of the map. There's Could a be, Black yeah. Ops 4 map that's like inside of a mansion that has a central courtyard. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It had like the luxury cars out front. <laughs> I'll have my editor I like how, it on screen. I'm I like sure how he created that, that one. Right there. Moving through here, this looks like a lot of open space. Obviously, yeah. this isn't the final map, but we got to make sure. Hopefully, we don't have too much. It but needs again, to be more we buildings. Don't want all urban where people are just camping inside of buildings. So hopefully they strike a nice balance. Uh, Moving over here. Yeah, but it's oh far gosh, too open at the moment. Area over there. And again, you know, this map lake. is huge. Oh, sorry. Like, even river. with zip lines and everything, I feel like this is going to take forever yeah. to transit the entire map. I hope here, it will not slow down the game like too much. Estates, getting a little bit more modern, getting a little mm. more classy. Maybe two, three more, move four, maybe buildings more like this, you know, like some kind Both of condos lines, there. Some tennis courts. Your boy's a tennis player, so... Ah, it's again very open. Very, very open here. I'm liking this area. A lot, uh, it's a lot more vibrant and a lot more colors. Like, the Area 99 map that we played at Call of Duty Next was boring. Not necessarily the map itself was boring, but, yeah, but the color, color yeah. palette was so All boring. right, we have a but palace. This, oh. this reminds me of the Verdansk. Wow, we have a palace here. Looks this is going to be... got some ascenders built in. It's going to be a hard one here. Drop down points where you can fight mm -hmm. inside of the train yeah. station. You could spend so much time exploring this like go in all you have to do is open up low town you open up a, a spectator preview uh and you load in not as a spectator but as a codcaster and all right you yeah. turn off all the hud elements and then you can just fly around gotcha so that area over here is low town right this is the actual low town multiplayer map that's why these textures mm. are so high and you can actually which is not a bad map by the way for yeah, multiplayer some bots fighting over on this side of the map it extends out into more areas. Mm -hmm. I feel like they should just add the more Black like this. Yeah. Six gameplay plays so well, but I feel like they need to add in like some ground war maps because every single map being so tiny or only 6v6, they need to add in some 12v12. This is a beautiful map, a great game engine, but I agree. Man, the maps in this map are kind of bad. A sweet little area where you can. Well, the maps are not bad, over. but sometimes it feels not enough players or too much players. System, and then yeah. fly into. And the maps Expecting have all the same size at the end of the area. day, somehow. Kind of like a modern apartment complex. Yeah, but I like how this is set up, you know, with all the bridges, bridges etc. You know, a lot of high buildings as well. But not like just standing train. somewhere in the middle, but you can literally come, you know, approach them and somehow, you know, creep to them and, you know, engage into fights. 
uh, that's the area that we've already explored but they need to add definitely more forest or better said trees like you know the most basic and boring only one little uh, bit GTA vibe. Wheel. That, that'd be pretty cool though ferris wheel if you could actually get inside of there and like snipe yeah and, and, yeah, and turn it on yeah that it uh, would be also great water a lot of water yeah too much water a lot a lot of water that was kind of one nice thing about Verdansk. Okay, is they would, again, Rados like, here. Was all frozen over. They kind of a military water. installation like, you know, here. If there was water in open spaces, gotcha. it basically okay, we're just walking on ice. Here we have some more like kind of observatory, some more oh, ruins. That would be great if the ruins water. would be a little bit, you little know, bit bigger from a size. A lot of water. Okay, I was really optimistic when I was first going through the map, but I just... <laughs> All right, no, if no, they it's... can fill up the rest of that dead space with actual usable map area. I don't know if that's like an intentional Ooh. design language thing where they try to delay. Well, it must not be that all those regions, like all those areas, will be available in the big map. But if this is going to be the new water, map, like that it's down, very promising, I must say. Down. It's very, very promising. Do with the studios is all a lot of zips, a lot of helicopters. We need a lot of cars to be available, the and the player amount needs to be higher, like 150, as you mentioned, at least 120, so but water, optimal there's, there's 150. No it's easier on the graphics engine, I wouldn't imagine, to render all the water. But let me know what you think so far about the map. Now there are some more promising sides of the map, like this oh, uh, right stadium. here, wow, the giant yeah. stadium, kind of going back to the Verdansk era. Yes. Now we actually have this map. This is called Red Card inside of Black Ops Six multiplayer. That's or at great. Least maybe they're reusing some of the wow. assets from it. It would be great it's to have more buildings map. around it as so well, right so that you don't have just a high high ground. You know, here, when you're just on the top of the in through here, and of the yes, stadium. There are these lanes on the outside. So that's the red card map. I'm surprised mm -hmm. you don't have it in a high res asset. But probably if I were to load into red card in multiplayer and go into spectator, Great. it would throw me in there in higher res. Moving through here. But there should be, like let's say, another two, three gas kind of stations, if you ask me. That especially we would get a lot of inside I think it's of, this a gas station? Uh, blackout. This is the city that we were inside of earlier. Mm -hmm. I think these areas are going to be pretty fun to fight inside of. Working oh, your yeah. way across these high Imagine grounds. having also some zips here, you know, going again, building to building by a zip. Kind of separations. Oh, you saw there already like a zip where you can go oh, up. This is the grandstand for like an F1. Yeah. So it looks like there's a little F1 racetrack that moves through this city. It's him smiling right now. Okay. So it, it's I have like an a, idea. So there's probably some F1 imagine, that can, that can imagine doing like, like Monaco, F1 race racing inside of, inside of Warzone Battle Royale map. Here. Oh, that would be cool. What if one... So I, I've been playing a lot of Off the Grid and one of the challenges or like contracts inside of Off the Grid was like wingsuiting through tracks. I wonder if they could have like a contract where you have to finish... With a car. A, like a race Come on. track. I yeah. Think that would be pretty fun. I was thinking to say, yeah. So you like get inside of a dune buggy or you get inside of even an F1 car would be pretty sweet. And you race through and you have to basically complete a time trial. And if you complete that time trial... Then you get some money. That'd be pretty sweet. But I like really like the the, 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 the color Once scheme again, what we have here. Yeah. Used assets. We've got the gas station. Mm -hmm. Looks like another maybe store. A, another liquor store, or like a DVD store. Back up through here, we have a little golf, golf course. course. Getting oh. classy. So we wow. have a clubhouse, some pools. See, like I would never want to go on vacation to like a caldera. That's great. Almazru was kind of bland. Get me an Avalon. Like, they've got F1 tracks, they've got yeah. city skyscrapers, they've got a golf course. I'm not I think this is gonna, to know gonna be a real great fucking map. I'm just curious how they wanna, like, implement it, because then you have, like, you know, Verdansk coming, word, you have Avalon, and I think um, Uzbekistan that, will stay in the launch, so when they wanna launch it, you know, or they plan is, just, just like, that Verdansk will be, like, a, you know, limited time mode. French flag there kinda helps to give that away. But, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Is there any part of the map that I missed? Is there any part of the map that you're excited to play? Anything that re you recognize? It looks great. From other Call of Duty. It looks great. It's a little bit too much water, if you ask me. That's clear. Me, we need a lot of zips excited. and redeploys. Vibrant, beautiful. Uh, helicopters. The only thing that worries me is water. But as long as they have either a lot of zip lines to get across water or a lot of uh, redeploy uh, parachutes that you can fly across the water, yeah. I won't mind it too much. It seems like they have just That's the also right interesting, verticality yeah. where... 
they have these natural progressions up the mm. hills that are going to be really fun to fight and i like the ruins like the, the map design is awesome there's not one central peak that you have to fight up it's just yeah. these gradual fights up hills like i do especially think when the zone is collapsing very, then you will be really well really good you know like out. you always that have a chance you know huge like i'm just i'm full speed sprinting across with my spectator camera and i just feel like it keeps going and going and going now obviously i think it, it will not be all kind of like the natural yeah. terrain like obviously yeah. it's not going all the way up yeah, yeah. the hills it, it won't read the map language no, no, like this is going to be like the, the out of bounds yeah, this and is the fence terrain, yeah, for sure those little high grounds yeah. that's going to be the out of bounds yeah, yeah for sure but it doesn't look like we'll be able to go all the way up there I'm unfortunately Maybe not less seeing even, any yeah. airports where we're going to get any fighter planes back. You know, I'm I'm a little heartbroken about that. No, maybe they added. We're just kind of going to let it roll. If you guys didn't know about this and you're excited about this new map or just oh, in yeah, general anything for Call of Duty, make sure to drop a like on the video. I wanna, yeah, guys, I give him a like. Around. This, sure this is a great fucking video. Anything. Once again, I think that's drawing a blank. Not, not a state. I'm drawing a blank on the name of that map. I'm pretty sure that's the map with like the giant golden statue out front and the really nice cars yeah, they just need to add more like forests though, like trees as bushes all as like the blackout and they need area. to add a little bit more buildings all the pools, otherwise you have too much open spaces you know and then it's just like everybody camping and waiting the, until they see somebody the on the rotation right now is you have a hot drop like superstore but then so much dead space mm. around that right so for dance was amazing because you would have superstore and then it was surrounded by hangers, PD, um, the, the the Virgin Towers over by Promenade. You had Storage Town on the other yeah, side. Yeah, for airport. example, they could have, it could so, add here like so a PD and there was so or a fire department, you know, like we know it from Uzbekistan. At least in this area, it kind of seems like there's some hot spots, but then you just have these giant It's a little bit too much displaced, the the map. if you know and what like I mean. Like this over here. There is like one I mean, spot and there is a lot of place. nothing and then comes another oh, spot, like a smaller one, and then it's again this. nothing. Like, we yeah, know but this, we're gonna this, have some this, 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 this is too much. No, this, this, this is this, <laughs> no. not going to be fun. No, you can't do that. Can't do that. But at the end of the day, I always talk about how the the mood. Of this the is great. The military camp here. Like when I'm walking around a video game, I want it to be yeah. fun. I want I want the dopamine going off in my brain. I want I want to be playing in a map. But look, that I would this want looks to really dope. Real life. This this looks this really definitely sick. Definitely give those gives those vibes, and of course, Verdansk is definitely going to give those vibes. But for the first time in a long time, Urzikstan I enjoyed, but I think I yeah, enjoyed the too. gameplay mechanics on Urzikstan yeah. more. Almazra I loved. Almazra was an awesome map. But the mechanics were horrid. Yeah. Caldera, bad. Good mechanics by the end of it, especially with the Raven software quality of life stuff. You got kind of like a little cargo area in through here. Oh, that's neat. Would be great to have like a this, big ship as well there. I already know Omni movement's going to be insane. Beautiful colors. Back on Verdansk, Maybe a lot of really trucks. We're in for a Standing really around, you know what I mean? Years of God. Like they live with the trucks. Turning out some donuts in there. <laughs> These maps have a lot of personality, man. Uh. And... and I really, really hope that this drops. I, I it just feels a little bit too much disconnected, but I, but I'm pretty sure that they will get this, this map done. To launch for like season one on November 14th, I would be so happy. Oh yeah. I really don't want to go back to Urzikstan. Urzikstan uh, is a great map, but it will Playing be it for a year and a half with the same POIs. Year with no rank. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. This? Though I must say I enjoyed Urzikstan at the ending more than Latest playing Resurgence. Towards 2025, which is heartbreaking like fall of 2025 like the next call of duty release uh-huh i'm not i'm not i'm not loving that but at least we get Vernansk in the spring at least the multiplayer mm. is fun we do get area 99 yeah and at the end of the day we know call of duty they love to just do content grip they love to do but i love the ruins wow the ruins are gonna be so freaking nuts in the game but Remember in Caldera, the, the ruins that you had? Uh, and this one's here going to be much, 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 much better. Be because it's such, it. so you know, the, 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 the size of the area is so huge. Put some sort of, you know, block off on the, uh, on the terrain to where we... They just need you know, to add an air, airfield strip. Like an airport, Warzone and that would be great. Whether it's Warzone 2025, or whether it's a surprise release for later in the year, it seems like it's all devved out. Mm -hmm. It really does. Throw Looks like they prepared themselves. And this is going to be a stunning map to play on. But I think that is it. We will fly off into the sunset. We'll get one last 
huge aerial view. Yeah, we'll but there is a lot of open if you space. Guys are the Black Ops 6 and Warzone content, do me a favor and drop a like. Yeah, drop a video. like to this guy. Thank you again I mean, if you don't know him by now, you, sh you, check him out down you in definitely need to check him out. He's really great. And with that, this looks like a yeah, first look let's make a at a new Warzone map with a lot of water. Let's make a break here. So, I personally love how it's looking. Um, the only thing that I don't like is the area over here, completely open. You have like the huge stadium, here a little bit of residentials, and then there is nothing here until you get to the palace. So they need to make this like a liv livable area, if you ask me, like with more buildings, more structures, or at least with a lot of wood. You know, otherwise people would just camp here on the top, here on the top, and they take these positions and then wait for the rotation of what's going to happen. Uh, then you have like this one high-rise building, which is supposed to be like a luxury hotel. Um, and nothing is around. That's that's not going to fly. You need to add a little bit more flavor here. Otherwise, you have from here, you have all this area completely open and all this area completely open. Plus, you're completely safe from the other side because there's water. Um, so I'm I'm perfectly fine with this area here. You know, everything goes here. And with the harbor there and so on, so th this is great. I love it. You know, also with the ruins over there, this is perfectly fine. The only thing that I'm not really like agreeing with is this this area here. I love the stadium. I love that we have a stadium which is fucking awesome and it looks great. Um, I would love to be a little bit more structure. That that's all what I want to say. That that's that's how I see it. Um, guys, if this is going to be the new map, I think we are in in for a really good year in Warzone. And if it's really going to be 150 players, bam. That's what we're talking about. Anyways, uh, I wanted to share this quickly with you because, once again, I saw this map, uh, this video today and I'm like, okay, I need to watch this together with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think about the new map. And again, make sure that you follow this guy, Iceman Isaac. He's great.